G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. Just wanted to uh, discuss uh, some things that have been coming up on OMG Ubuntu recently uh, that may affect Ubuntu itself or maybe indirectly. So we'll jump on the website and have a look. So first of all, we'll start off with um, Ubuntu adds a minimal minimal install option to the installer so what this means is people will be able to add or click on I don't know if it shows you here you should be able to click on something here that says install minimal and uh, the new minimal install option appears in section of the install that asks whether you want to install restrict codex to enable multimedia playback alongside the main desktop. Check the minimal install box to get exactly that, a minimal Ubuntu install containing a desktop environment, a web browser, some core system tools and little else. Um, so what this means is if you like to install Ubuntu but you don't like all the stuff that comes with it, the apps mainly, um, then those apps won't be there and then you can just build the system what you want, only the apps that you want. And I think that's a great idea instead of having to uninstall stuff. I don't normally uninstall, I normally just install the things I need and just leave everything else. So um, so there's an option there. So if you are if you like to have a minimal install and put your own apps on there and that's all you have, then this is probably a good option for you. So this is coming out with the 1804 installer. Next we have GNOME's or GNOME GNOME's new system monitor tool, which is available to try in Bionic called GNOME Usage. So we shall check that out. Usage. So there you have a um, bit of a graph there on how your process is going, your memory, running apps, and also some uh, system file, root system file level um, usage as well. And also you have storage broken down into a pie chart tells you the capacity up the top, the available down the bottom, and how it's broken down. So you can see the operating system is just a little bit more than a quarter. Home is used up not much at all. The desktop is not used up much at all. Downloads, music, and so forth and the rest is the grey bit which is available. We can hit the refresh but I don't think that's going to do much. The next one is a simple app menu editor for Ubuntu. Now there is a menu editor called Menu Libre which I normally use or just the menu editor itself called A La Carte. If you're familiar with those two, then this is meant to be probably a more simplified version. So now I have installed App Editor, but unfortunately it's not running. It was running originally. I don't know what's happened. I am in a nightly build and this is brand new. So obviously something going wrong there. Um, I have used it, I tried adding, I cannot remember what I added to it. Um, it could have been the, let me have a look. Um, I've, I've installed the menu editor because I tried to get the app editor within the menu editor, so that's not working either. So anyway, um, you can have a read up on it on the OMG site anyway. So that is the new app editor. I shall leave the links in the show notes. 
Katie in Live is now in Katie in Live Beta is about available for testing. This beta is an app image, so you can download that and give it a go. So I have installed that. Katie in Live. Um, so let's have a look at uh, what we're running here. 17.12.2 and I think uh, let's have a look at uh, my one here. Oh, I'm on KDE Neon on my other one and that is running 17.08. So that's reasonably up to date. So this one's .12.2. So Yep, that's a bit more up to date, this one. So I'm not sure exactly, I haven't given it a lot of use, so I'm not really sure if there's a lot of changes there. I'll probably have to read up on it. But I'm sure it's just sort of back-end things. Uh, it's a, a leaner and more stable code base that lays a foundation on which newer, more advanced features can be built. So they've sort of changed the code base and they're building on that. So it may be quicker, probably less buggier, and they're going to build upon that by the looks of it. So that's a new KDN Live. Audacity 2.2.2 released with a stack of new features and improvements. Well, I don't use Audacity much, only to edit uh, a little bit of noise at the end of uh, uh, audio files and things like that. So, or I just uh, editing a file to MP3 or or so forth. So I don't really use it too much. Uh, the actual interface. So let's have a look at it anyway. So that's the new Audacity interface. And help and about Audacity 2.2.2. So, and it looks quite a bit different to what it used to anyway. And I don't have an audio file to put on here, so I can't really show you that. Anyway, I'm sure some people might find that very handy. Next is a new theme, which you've probably noticed I'm already running. So I just thought I'd leave that up there to see if anybody noticed it. So this is the Aaron gone, Aaron, sorry, let me check that out again. Aaron, Aaron gone, Aaron gun GTK theme. So just another name that we need to figure out how to pronounce and maybe on Big Daddy Linux Live on Saturday Night America or Sunday Morning Australia, I might bring that up as a conversation so somebody can tell me how that's pronounced. <laughs> because Aaron, 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 it's got to be somewhere around there, and I've probably uh, butchered that completely. Down here, they've spelled it with a G. I don't know if it's meant to be that or not. I don't think so. So anyway, I think it's uh, quite a neat little theme. So it's uh, quite different. It's got these icons down the left. It seems to have got a bit of a strip there, so it looks a little bit 3D-ish. It actually reminds me a little bit of the... Um, this bit here of the D-Pin um, software center looks a little bit like that. And the style looks a little bit arc darkish with the blackness on the side. And normally the arc dark is black along the top. So some of these buttons are black. So that's quite a nice theme. So that's the uh, Oringen, Oringen theme. Next we have 
Samsung Galaxy S9 official wallpapers for Ubuntu. So these are the wallpapers. Let's have a look. Change background. And they're in my pictures folder, so we'll run through them all. I quite like that one. Hmm, not sure about that one. It's not too bad. So we'll stick to that one. That looks all right. So they are some of the things that's happening in uh, Ubuntu right now and OMG Ubuntu. So just on these themes, let's have a look at this one. If you go to there and then click on this, right click and save image as. And as you can see, I've saved them all there. Just give it a name and click save in your pictures or wherever you want it saved. Simple as that. Okay. The Arun, Arun, Arongan, the Arongan theme, you can download the Arongan theme here. That'll take you to the open desktop. Click on files. Gives you little uh, screenshots there. Click on files. This one says it's meant to be for the buttons on the left. So if we go to the tweak tool, I didn't show you that. Um, this one is buttons on the left. So it, the only thing I've seen change with this one is this button here, which looks out of place anyway. So maybe that, maybe that theme's not done yet. So if we click that, now that button's back inside that box there, which looks correct. So I would think that that's still a work in process for the buttons on the left. So that's not changing yet. So all you need to do is click that and click that, save them. And then um, for the newer users, once you've downloaded it, which is in my downloads folder, you can copy or cut. I normally copy just in case thing go, things go wrong. Go to your home folder, choose show hidden files, dot themes. If there's not a dot themes there, just create new folder and call it dot themes and save it. And copy them here or cut and paste them here. Right click extract here and extract here or you can hold your control button down and select them both and extract here in one go. Sorry, control. Sorry, let me do the right control one, control button and right click and extract here. And that's it. Then they'll be available to select. Audacity. So I do believe that uh, with the Audacity, it's got some light and dark themes, have improved contrast, consolidated extra menu and bug fixes. Also dropout detection during recording, half wave display option, easier zooming, in and out with mouse wheel, new zoom toggle command, context menu for vertical rulers, change keyboard shortcuts of menu commands by holding the shift key. So run through these commands here. and press enter and then when that's finished copy and paste this command once you get to a command prompt when it's finished doing what it's doing it'll come back to this and then you can copy and paste again press enter and that's done that'll be installed now if you currently have it installed I believe you can just run this these commands anyway and it should update your current one to 2.2.2. .2. OK. 
Kdn Live app image, you download that one here. That'll download the app image and you save it, which I've already done. I always make a .kdn Live or whatever the name of the pro the app is. I just call it dot that dot for this one dot kdn live. Open that up. I save it here. Right click properties permissions and make sure that this allow executing file as program is ticked. Double click it. It'll ask you if you want to add it to dot desktop. Say yes, and then that'll be available in your menu, like so. And job done. The app menu, the new app editor. Although it's not working, you might want to give it a try if you want to try it out. Um, just uh, again, these commands to install the flat the flat pack, um, and then it says it should be available in the software store. The GNOME software app. In the uh, yeah. To install App Editor from FlatHub, you can search for it in the GNOME software app or run the following command in a new terminal. That's after you've done these two commands here. Well, I can't find it in the software app. So it was running, but it's now not running. So nightly build, GNOME usage. So install no usage on Ubuntu. If you're running the 1804 daily builds, you can then try uses out for yourself by installing it from the Ubuntu Software Center. Well, I didn't find that in the Software Center either. There was a few system monitors there. So I didn't know which one was which. So I just run the command. Where is it? sudo apt install gnome usage and that installed gnome usage gnome dash usage and that installed and that's pretty much it that's the uh, new things that are happening at the moment just thought i'd share that with you all and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching